In this lesson, we're going to work out the volume of a triangular prism. Now, the difference with this compared to the lesson before is we're not going to be told the area of the face part of the prism. We're going to have to work that out ourselves. So you can see here the triangular prism. It's a triangular prism because it's got a red triangle at one side and a parallel red triangle at the other side, which is exactly the same size. That's how we know it's a triangular prism. And this is the area of the face that we want to work out, the face that tells you what name the prism is. So the first thing we have to think about is, we have to think, how do you work out the area of a triangle? Now, the area of a triangle is just a half base times height from previous learning. So half times base times height. The base of the triangle and the height of the triangle must be at right angles to each other. So the height straight up and down and the base across. So it's a half 1.3 times 1.6. Just type that into your calculator and you'll get an answer of 1.04 meters squared. So down here now we know that the area of the face part is 1.04. And we have to work out the volume of the prism. So basically, it just used the formula we had before, area of the face part times the length. So it's 1.04 times 2.7. Again, use your calculator here um, to get your answer. So the final answer is 2.81 meters cubed. Okay, let's look at a few examples just to clarify any problems with that. So calculate the volume of this prism over here. So again, we have to identify what type of prism it is first, so as we can work out the area of the proper face we need. So this is another triangular prism. It's a wee bit strange looking because there's a right angle at the front, a right angle triangle. But that's the face that continues all the way through. That's the face that's been stretched through the prism. So the area of this blue face is what we're trying to work out. So the formula is the same, it's a triangular prism. So it's a half base times height, and the base of the triangle here, the blue triangle, is 9. And the height, there's no number there, but we can see it's just the same as this height here, so it's 14. So it'll be a half times 9 times 14. Now, you could use a calculator, but you could also do it without. If you half the 14, you'll get 7, and 7 times 9 is 63. That's an easier way to do it. So 63 centimetres squared. Again, volume of a prism is area of the face part times the length of the prism. So this is the face part. And the length of the prism is 6. So we're doing 63 multiplied by 6. And your answer to that will be 378 centimetres cubed. Okay, let's try another one. So calculate the volume of this prism here. So again, again, the first thing we need to do is identify what the face part of the prism is. Now it's this triangle at the front, because this is the triangle continues all the way through the prism to the other side. So this is the area of the face we have to work out first. So it's a triangle again, half base times height. The base is 12 and the height is 4. So a half times 4 times 12. Again, you can half one of the numbers and then times it. So half of 4 is 2. Double 2, sorry, 2 times 12 is 24 centimetres squared. So half the 4, you get 2, 2 12s are 24. Okay, finally, to get the volume, you do area times length. And the area of the face part is 24. And then the length of the prism is 5.5. That triangle continues all the way along this bit here. So 24 times 5.5. And you get an answer of 132 centimetres cubed. Okay, finally a wee tricky one to do, just that we can almost look at a reverse problem. So we've been told the volume of the prism is 20 metres squared, and we've got to work out the length. Okay, so the first thing I need to do here, as before, is work out the area of the face part. You can see there's a triangle here. This is the triangle that continues all the way through the shape. So the base is 2, the height is 5, so we'll just do that first, a half base times height. So it's a half times 2 times 5, that's easy enough, that's just 10 halved, so that will be 5 metres squared. We'll continue with the volume formula, which is area times length, but this time we've been told the volume, 
the volume's 20. We've done this kind of thing before. So we'll put the 20 in here. We know the area is 5, and we've got to work out the length. So you've got to figure out what to do with these two things to work out the length. And some of you might be able to spot already, 5 times what makes 20. Basically, you divide these numbers. So 20 divided by 5, and you'll get your answer of 4 centimetres. Notice it's not square centimetres, because it's just a length, and it's not cubic because it's not volume, it's just a length here.